Hello, all you cargo haulers and flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Air Hauler 2 and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Well, it's been a few months since I've provided an update on my Air Hauler 2 company, and I know I promised that I would do that as soon as I got back from vacation, which I just have been busy and just couldn't get to it. But now here is an update. And so some of the things I wanted to go over is the finances. Uh, I'll be doing these uh, games or doing these updates probably once a month or maybe a little longer than once a month. Uh, I've opened up some new factories and we're going to open up. We're going to fly to Omaha today and open up a new base there. So let's start with uh, finances first. The As you can see, the company is at $49 million. Almost, it's almost 49.5 million. And when I got back, well, actually when I left, I was at 23 million for in May. <clears throat> and then when I got back, I ended up at 22.7. So about $300,000, $350,000, something like that is really what I kind of expected that my finances would drop by for the three month period. So that really wasn't bad at all. Now I've been playing because I could get the pilots flying in the morning and then just let them kind of fly throughout the day. And as you can see, uh, the graph is really kind of picked up since I've been back. You'll see a little blip right up here at the top. And that's some new aircraft that I bought that I'll cover here shortly. Uh, again, I mentioned I'm, we're going to end up flying over to Omaha today to open up a base. Uh, I think that's going to be a fairly nice strategic spot. So if we go over here to available, uh, Omaha, well, you can see I'm sitting here at uh, Columbus Municipal, Nebraska, and we're just going to fly over here to Omaha, which is K-O-M-A. That's Epley Field. And so I think that's going to be a nice spot for our first Midwest base. It pretty puts us pretty much right in the middle of the United States. And so that's going to hopefully launch some nice cargo runs out of there. And uh, you'll see why in the planes that I have. So that's kind of where we're going to open up the next base. Also, I've opened up some factories. So if we get over to our factories, uh, basically I haven't really opened up anything too new as far as at bases, but I did open up uh, some new factories here at Flagstaff. So if we go to our factory details and I can produce cosmetics, computers and lab equipment now, <clears throat> I was just producing cosmetics there in Flagstaff, but I added the computers and the lab equipment. So it gives me some more supplies that I can do on supply runs. So that's where we're at with bases. Now, one of the things I want to do here, and it'll probably be for the next episode when I uh, get back with you to show you uh, an update is to open up uh, maybe one or two new factories, which might be a haggis. And if you're curious as to what that is, look it up <clears throat> online. It's apparently it's a Scottish delicatessen delicacy. Uh, I think once you read it, you'll kind of question that. But hey, it is what it is. Possibly tools or furniture, something like that. Uh, let's go to our aircraft. I have managed to add some new aircraft. I've updated all of everything for, well, actually let's open up the spreadsheet down here and I can show you better on the spreadsheet. So I've sold off my Skyhawk and my Jabiru's and I've increased with Cirrus, uh, with uh, some more Cessna. I've added, uh, I've got three Beechcraft now that gives me uh, 3,600 pounds cargo capacity and just the other day I added an Embraer which gives me almost a little over 4,800 pounds of cargo capacity 
and it does fly faster and it actually only requires one pilot so it is a pretty nice addition to the fleet here for the aircraft uh, and on that Embraer uh, I bought it for 1.3 million the it was at 50 percent uh, damage or 50 percent to wear on it so 1.3 million uh, double that that would be 2.6 million if I bought it at full price and to repair it up to 100 percent it was only 121,000 so that was really quite the bargain on that Embraer and so that's uh, and I've got it flying uh, while we got the spreadsheet open here uh, if we look at current missions I actually got a couple of current missions going here and as you can see I've been doing quite a few current missions mainly they're all being they're all supply missions that are being produced out of my factories and all my factories are now uh, earning they've all paid for themselves and they're all producing profit uh, on anything that they produce now uh, these two this designer clothing and uh, memory sticks I picked those up this morning and if we I don't think there's anything more on the spreadsheets that I need to show so let's minimize this back down and if we go to our accepted missions you can see that uh, we've got that in here so if we go to our factories and we go to clothing and we go to stock and manufacturing you can see that I've got the designer clothing being produced I've got 1204 and I just started these so I found a little trick that seems to help speed up the manufacturing process instead of putting 2100 items in as one pending queue I split these up into multiple queues so each one is producing at the same time so it's going to produce uh, this top one's going to produce I think it's uh, 10 every six minutes the next one's going to produce 10 at every six minutes and they're going to do that concurrently and they're not uh, waiting for the first one to get done so that's just something to keep in mind it might help you with your manufacturing and might help speed things up all right so what I usually do uh, let's go over here I got it closed but let's open it up available missions so the first thing I usually do in the morning when I get to get my pilot started I just come over here and scan through the commodity list and look for the commodity that my factories are producing so if we come down to uh, I don't think there's any oh there's memory sticks here it was only 291 and they were only paying 65 so it really wasn't worth messing around with I really only look to pick up the ones that are going to be fairly profitable if I can make more having my pilots fly cargo runs I would rather do that but like on the one mission that I accepted this 2124 item for designer clothing they're paying 136 and it only costs me what is it where's my list here uh, designer it only cost me $45 to produce a pound of uh, designer clothing so that's a considerable amount of profit and especially with that large quantity uh, I think that's close to a hundred thousand dollars for just that one load of uh, designer clothes so one of my uh, beach crafts will end up up there and I'll load it up once it's done and send that off and that'll be a, a pretty nice payout all right well I think that's pretty much the update on where the company is at the company info uh, let's see you can see we had a little blip there every once in a while I think uh, I might uh, assign a cargo run with not enough time so that happened to be delivered a little bit late but you can see that it didn't take much to get that back up to 
uh, 100%. Uh, we talked about the fleet. You can see the fleet is producing all my pilots. I have uh, been slowly building them up, and so I haven't had to fire a pilot in a long while. Uh, we'll see. I just hired a new pilot, Emma, and she is on her first cargo run. She's actually unloading it now, so she's going to be finished. And if we look at her aircraft, uh, Emma, Emma, where are you? Right here. Yeah, it looks like she's already put a little wear and tear on it. But I'd look at that as really not being a problem. Let's go ahead and repair that. Uh, I look at that as maintenance, unless it's really, really bad. Uh, $1,600 for maintenance air, you know, is really, you're gonna have maintenance. So let's carry out the repairs on that. Okay. Uh, operations, we talked about that. We pretty much talked about everything there. So I guess the next thing we've got to do is fly on to Omaha. And I've already got the flight set up and ready to go over an air, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So once I get over there into the cockpit and ready to go, actually, I got to do one more thing here before I forget. So let's do this. I got to do fleet. Uh, let's get up to my aircraft. I need to position this aircraft. <coughs> and so let's fly this. We are flying from... Uh, we are going to Omaha, so let's go K-O-M-A, uh, Epley, Omaha. We're going to use that. Uh, you'll notice we've already got 600 pounds of herbal remedies, which is we're going to sell when we get to Omaha. Uh, I think that was a $20 profit per pound so we're going to make some decent money on there let's put some more fuel in here uh let's see total fuel yeah that's oop i don't i want to keep it about there we go 200 all right uh that should be plenty we're only flying about 100 miles, not even that, maybe about 90 nautical miles today. So let's click OK. Uh, yep, that's what we're going to buy. All right, we're going to accept this route. All right. And payload is 770. And our fuel is 278. Now, air hauler will move the fuel over. We'll need to adjust the payload. All right, so let me get over here and into the aircraft. Once I get into the aircraft, I'll uh, catch back up with you all at that point when we're ready to fly. Okay, we are over here in the cockpit and about ready to take off. I've already set my altitude that I want to fly up to and we are going to be, our vertical speed is going to be 500 feet per minute. We are currently set. I've already got the uh, flight plan in. We can see it. It's going to take us just right through here and swing into Omaha. And here is our nav log. We can got that. Uh, we've got some different spots along there. So let me minimize these. I think we are just about ready. So let's uh, go ahead and do the run up. And we'll release the brake. Get rolling down the runway here. We're going to be flying at about 5,000 feet today. Uh, we're here in the Midwest, so our elevations are not nearly as to what they were when we were over there in the mountainous western region. So, all right, let's 
take off. Our landing gear is up. Let's get our autopilot going. Navigation. Uh, engage that. And let's raise our flaps. And we are off and flying. So if we take a look outside the cab here, we can see that. Uh, Pretty much, uh, you can see I like flying the M20R, and pretty much that's what my job is here. I will fly from base to base and open up or airport to airport and open up new bases while my pilots are hauling the cargo. So I'm really not hauling much cargo anymore, and I'm pretty much just managing the company to get that going. All right, let's go back inside the cab. Everything is set. So as I get to, to Omaha and as we start our approach, I'll uh, catch back up with you all at that point.
All right, we are just about ready to make our turn for approach. We will be, once we start making our turn here, we're coming to the end of this custom and uh, we will be about 10, 10 miles out, 10 nautical miles out from Omaha. And as we swing around, once we get swung around here, we should see the airport. I did see it off to my left when I came in and it's not that one. It's that one right there. And we are gonna come in on 32 left, which will be that light right there is what we're gonna line up on. Uh, I have already put out one set of flaps. And as soon as we hit about uh, seven nautical miles out, I will put the second set of flaps out. I like to put out two sets of flaps. Uh, it just, I just seem to fly better with that. I seem to hit the right speed on my landings and that seems to help quite a bit. Uh, I've already, I've came down to 3000 foot elevation or altitude and which the airport is 981 for its altitude. So that should put us just about right. And let's put that second set of flaps out. And then I will take over here. We'll turn off all of the autopilots. Click that, that, go ahead and turn that off. So we now have control. This will uh, allow me to get lined up on the runway. Again, we're coming in on 32 left. Hopefully we can make a decent enough landing. should end up, once we get uh, slowed down and ready to taxi, we shouldn't be too far from our uh, parking spot. Okay, I think we're pretty well lined up. I will put the landing gear down at uh, around two and a half, three miles out. I don't know what the proper spot is to do that, but it seems like uh, three, two and a half to three out is about right to me. Okay, stand lined up. Let's reduce the throttle just a little bit. And hey, we're looking pretty good so far. All right, let's put our landing gear down. Too bad. Minimums. Okay.
Um, we're staying fairly well lined up. All right, we can start uh, reducing the throttle. 100. Go back a 40, little bit. 30, 20, 10. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. Just a little bounce there. And we can start slowing down, and I think we should be able to turn out on the next taxiway here. We can get slowed down enough here. Well, this is, uh... Okay, yeah, that's one of the other runways. We're crossing the, an active runway. And then we should be able to turn in right here, I believe. There we go. All right. And we are safely on the ground. I think we're going to turn right here. This should put us over into, yeah, general aviation parking right out over here. Okay. And here we are. So let's get pulled in right here. We'll pull in probably just right. We can pull in right next to this aircraft right here. And I think we'll call it good right here. This looks good. All right, let's get this thing stopped. Set the parking brake. And let's turn this thing off. Okay, we are here at uh, Omaha, so I will see you over in Air Hauler, and we'll finish up this flight, uh, unload our commodities, and then we'll open up a new base. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I am over here in Air Hauler, so let's click Finish Flight Monitoring. Uh, yes, I know there's cargo on board, and I really do want to stop. S uh, let's click. Uh, yeah, smooth landing. I thought it was a little bumpy, but not bad. And we can close that out. All right. So now we can go over to our overview map, and let's bring up Omaha. Let's search. A-O-M-A. -A. Uh, we'll use Omaha. And we want to sell these herbal remedies. So let's sell the max at $600. Uh, we're going to get $94. So let's uh, sell that. Uh, $56,000. And I paid, uh, what was it? Uh, that was $94. I believe we're making $18 or $19 per pound profit on this so let's go ahead and click sell and there we go all right so that's the overview map so we just sold those commodities now let's go to company information let's go to bases we want to open a base uh, we want to do Epley uh, here at Omaha. Now we could open up some other bases because that's I have pilots sitting there at those, <clears throat> but obviously we're not going to do that. We want the one that I flew into, which is Epley Omaha. So let's uh, select that. 
Uh, it's going to cost us 335000 to open it with a monthly rental of 31900 And again, the reason I chose Omaha was it is fairly central located in the country, in the U.S., and it has a, uh, quite a few commodities. In particular, it has sheep. I think this is where I may end up opening up my haggis factory. So let's click yes. And we've just opened up a new base. All right. So if we go over to our bases now, you can see that that is under construction. And if we click on it, it will be ready in basically 120 hours. So that's uh, gonna be about five days, something like that. And uh, that's about right, so. All right, I think that was everything I wanted to cover today. Uh, I don't have anything else on my list. The next update will probably be in around a month, which is what I wanna keep these videos to, so. Uh, I think we're looking pretty good. All right, all you uh, cargo haulers and sim pilots out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Okay, keep flying away. Keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.